how to invoke specific notification center views using keyboard shortcuts. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. Yesterday I posted a tutorial on how to mate a keyboard shortcut with Notification Center. So basically this allows you to use a simple keyboard shortcut like this to invoke Notification Center. That's all good and well, but the only problem with this keyboard shortcut is that it will always default to the last open view on Notification Center. So if you had Notifications view open last, guess what is gonna open up when you invoke Notification Center with your keyboard shortcut? cut notifications view if you have the today view open last guess what's going to open up when you invoke uh, using your keyboard shortcut yes today view so wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to mate a keyboard shortcut to notification center but be able to specify which view you open so say i wanted to open up directly to today view i could do that but if i wanted to open up directly to the notifications view i could do that as well well there actually is and it requires a little advanced technique we're going to use some scripts and we're going to use automator and we're also going to use of course keyboard shortcuts and services and all that goodness so i'm going to show you how to do this is actually really really simple really easy as long as you follow along uh, precisely so to do all this we're going to use a Apple script we're going to actually use a couple of Apple scripts but no sweat they're already pre-prepared uh, so I have them already posted on the post on I download blog so all you need to do is just go over to the post on IDB and then copy this script so what this script is basically doing what it's basically saying is to go to the menu bar click on the notification center icon uh, once you click on that icon then click on the specific view that you want this first one is for the notifications view and then you notice the second script is for the today view so it's actually a really really simple script um, and it's super easy to implement so I'm just going to copy this first script here just like this all right so I have the first one copied now I'm going to open up automator and that comes installed on your Mac already so just open up automator and then once you open it up it's going to ask you to choose your type of document we want a service because services can be mated to keyboard shortcuts so that's really important so you just want to select service and click choose and then right here at the top where it says service receive selected just make sure it's selected to no input make sure you choose no input and then over here on your actions you want to search for Apple Apple because we're going to search for Apple script so that's what we're looking for Apple script so you just double click on Apple script and then you just want to paste your uh, Apple script right here where it says your script goes here so the Apple script we just copied from I download blog just post paste it right there and then once you're done just hit the play button and then you should see Wow yes it opens up notification center directly to the notifications view super simple right so now all we need to do is just go up to file and then select save and then it's gonna ask for a name. So I'm just gonna call it notifications view. Pretty simple, easy to recognize. So just hit save there. So now we need to create one more service. So go back up to file, select new, and then we wanna select service again. And then we wanna do the same thing, service receive selected, select no input here, and then just type Apple. So we can find Apple script and just double click on Apple script. All right, so your script goes here. So we need to go back to iDownload blog, go to the second script here, that we have uh, posted for you or embedded. And then we're just gonna copy this one. Make sure you get it all here. Alrighty, almost. All right, so there we go. All right, so now we are done with that. And we just wanna paste it right here where it says your script goes here. And then you'll notice the difference here is it's the today view. See that? That's the difference. Just to test it out, hit the play button and look, it opens up to this today view. So super simple, right? Yep. You're with me so far? Good. So now we just need to save this and guess what we're going to call it? We're just going to call it today view. Today view and then save. Now we can close out of Automator completely. So I'm just going to close this out here. All right. And we can just exit out. And now what we need to do is just mate those two services to keyboard shortcuts, so super simple. Now there are a few rules you wanna follow here, so I'm just gonna open up, I'm in system preferences, all you need to do is go to keyboard and then go to shortcuts, and then what you wanna do is select services here in this menu, scroll all the way down to the bottom because your two services aren't mated to any specific uh, application, so they should be under general. Um, so you see here notifications view, and then you also see today view. So the only rule that you have to keep in mind, you want to avoid using the option 
option key in this keyboard shortcut because the option key interferes with notification center. It's just kind of weird because it allows you to uh, enable do not disturb mode and it can kind of break the workflow of the script. So you, you want to avoid the option key. You also want to use the command key because if you don't use the command key in your keyboard shortcut, then you actually have to manually activate uh, the service in each application that you switch to. If you do use the command key, then the service is activated in all applications across OS 10. So just keep that in mind. Don't use option, but use command. So what I'm going to just use is I'm going to use command shift, and then I'm going to use, and this is notifications view, and that's on the right side. So I'm going to use the minus sign on my keyboard. I have a, a, a full size keyboard with the keypad and all that. So the minus sign is on the right, the uh, asterisk or the multiplication sign is on the left of the minus sign. So that kind of matches up right with the uh, the notifications view and today view respectively. But of course you can use any shortcut you want, uh, but just like I said, make sure you use the command uh, keyboard or use the command key and make sure you avoid the option key. So this one I'm gonna use command shift and then the asterisk just like that. So there we go. That's all there is to it. So I have my two keyboard shortcuts and now we are ready to invoke notification center just by holding command shift. Let's open up the today view by using the asterisk and there is the today view. All right. And we can just click out of there and let's open up the notification view, uh, by hitting the command shift and then hitting the minus sign like that. And there opens up notification view. So you can see this is super simple, super easy. You get directly to the view you want to get to with the keyboard shortcut on your Mac. I hope this was able to help you out folks. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.